And now after quite a while, you will see the project console link, which will navigate to the console of our application with the hosting, with the uh, Firestore and stuff like that, and the link to the actual application. So if we click it and go to the app, we will see our fabulous application here up and running. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Anthony and today I'm going to show you how to very easy deploy your application or website on a hosting and have it available on the web page via the link or whatever. So we have our application, which is a coin keeper recently developed. We have a Firebase and uh, let's have a Firebase, not just the data store database and authentication, but a hosting as well. So what you will need to do, you go to Firebase, select your project that you want and go to all products, scroll a little bit down and you will see hosting. There will be a button get started. First thing first you need to do is copy the command, go to your terminal or your project terminal and just paste the command in there. And after quite some time, everything is done and created. So let's go back to the website next. Now open a terminal window, sign in to Google. We already most likely sign in, but if you don't, then just again, go to your terminal, log in. And if, if it's not logged in, you will have kind of a link or redirect to the Firebase where you will log in in the browser and it will be uh, tracked kind of in your uh, application project. And now run the command from your apps root directory. So we copy, we go again and Firebase in it. Now let's see what we want to pick up. We don't need anything for now, not the real base database, not the Firestore, because we obviously have it. We just need the hosting, configure files for Firebase hosting and hit uh, space and we go next. Please select an option, use an existing project. Yes, we want to use an existing project. Please select an option. If you have multiple, you will just need to pick up the one you need. We have the coin keeper and just wait up until everything is done. Detected an existing white code base in the current directory. Should we use it? Yes, of course. Let's use white. Why not? Uh, and now this is quite crucial because depending on which region you're going to pick, the faster or slower your application will be open and work and process and stuff like that. So if you are in US, pick the US Central. If you're in Europe, I recommend picking up the Europe West. Set up automatic builds and deploys with GitHub. No, we don't need it for now. And yeah, everything is done. So let's go back to the web page. Click next. When you're ready to deploy your web app, put the Firebase deploy. <clears throat> so let's assume we're going to do some changes. For example, uh, I don't know, whatever. I just want to log something here. And now let's commit the change. Commit it test commit uh, and push it to our branch. Commit in a way and push. Yes, push. Everything is perfect. Now, as they recommend, we copy the command, go to our terminal. It will take some time unless it's done. Pre-configure the hosting, updating something, building some bundles and chunks. And now after quite a while, you will see the project console link which will navigate to the console of our application with the hosting, with the uh, Firestore and stuff like that, and the link to the actual application. So if we click it and go to the app, we will see our fabulous application here up and running. Let's try and create some test user with password and confirmation password, authenticate, it's at some point. Okay. Yeah. It's just, it's just a problem of, of the application. Let's add something rent and 600 and we have it refresh. And yes, it is being saved to our database. Easy as that really couple of clicks, couple of commands to run and everything in setup and running. And you can now go to your console, check the hosting and Actually, you have some data available here. You will see the two domains created automatically. You can have some release history with the comments and so on and so forth. That was it. Thanks for watching. Hit a like, subscribe and see you in the further videos. Cheers.